Hello friends, this is Arokya. In this video, we are going to see uh, basic web scrapping using PowerShell. Uh, in PowerShell, we have one command let invoke uh, web request. We are going to see how can we use that invoke web request to scrap web pages. Uh, first, let me open PowerShell window. In this case, I am going to take my uh, own YouTube channel page. I will copy this URL. We are going to scrap all the links in this page. First, let's create one variable page equals invoke web request. Uh, there is one parameter called URI. We can pass the URL over here. It will initiate that web request or it will store the web, uh, web page source in dollar page variable. We can check using this. And this is the uh, entire uh, source code. Here we have some variables called, uh, sorry. Here we have uh, status code, status description. This is a standard HTML status codes. And this is a content type and raw content and what if there is any farms included in this page we can retrieve using farms and headers uh, headers for some banner grabbing and some manipulations images uh, we can simply use this images method to fetch all the images in that particular web page which has been uh, scrapped from that uh, invoke web request and input fields we can first initiate the farms and from farms we can get the input fields Obviously, this is um, pretty much straightforward. This links method will give us the links in this web page. This parsed HTML will give us a HTML parsed string uh, structure so we can navigate through the HTML DOM element using this. And obviously, this content length of the entire page source. So, first let's see uh, page dot links. Yeah, this much links so they're in that page. So let's uh, navigate through each link. Yeah, in dollar page dot links is obviously, and we are going to see uh, only the valid, uh, not uh, relevant URL. So we are going to fetch absolute URL first and which has to be have a watch percentage watch keyword in the URL. So what I am going to do if dollar l dot href attribute hyphen like wildcard I am putting watch if this matches I am going to print only that URLs. Let's see right host dollar l dot href is closing it. Yes, these are the URLs which has watch question mark video is equal to video ID. So here we have a only a relevant path. We should get absolute path so we can store the base path youtube.com in some of the variable and we can append and print the entire absolute url for these videos and i have already drafted this code in uh, powershell isc then let's see how it looks like so here first i uh, i get the source code in the source variable then i check the status code of that source uh, request if it is equal to 200 then then it's fine that's fine so um, the response code is uh, okay then i navigate through each links one by one if it matches with wildcard star watch star then i append http colon double slash youtube.com double colon plus uh, href attribute value of that link then i'll write try to write the entire link let's uh, give a try yeah it gives us a full url what happens uh, so we can check the remaining 
uh, methods here and the dollar page, dollar page is there images for each images object we have inner html inner text outer html outer text tag name which has to be absolutely img and alternative there is an alternative text for that and we can get the source code that src is there uh, so what we can do we can fetch this src and we can save those images in directly into our disk so how this attribute will help us in such scenario like i am i have one website which has all the images which i would like to grab and store in my hard disk in that case we can fetch that page and uh, we can grab all the image tags then we can store the response as image directly in our hard disk by looping through all the images tags so um fine let's see what are the available methods in this object user available and uh, sorry is a uh, forms let's see if there is any forms yeah there is some form logout form and uh, yeah obviously uh, if we want to see what are the attribute i mean form elements from dot forms slash we can give a form id here then we can fetch the fields okay only action underscore logout is the value and by default it is the value has been set to one so this form usually uh, will use to log out the session youtube log out youtube session and in some web pages there will be multiple form fields that we can fill and submit the form and get the response automatically using powershell so uh, yeah this is the basic uh, use you can try all the headers and uh, content all elements all elements which gives the entire page source from your and scripts which it, it, it will give us whatever script that page contains I'm sorry for the long scrolling um, so here whatever the content appears inside script tag you can it will fetch us um, easily without any additional code with using a simple method so these are the st very straight forward methods in next tutorial we will see um, how can we search through the HTML DOM using this using PowerShell um, Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. See you in the next tutorial.